Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial about Stable Diffusion. Today I want to show you an easy way how to create your own custom Stable Diffusion model using just a few random photos of yourself and the free online tool to train your model. First I will show you what to do in four easy steps and then I will guide you through each step in detail. First you need to take some photos of yourself or any other person you want to train. Be sure that the photos have a good contrast and lighting, no hard shadows, the whole face should be visible, there shouldn't be any other people on the photo and it's good to use different background angles and different facial expressions. I would recommend taking 15 photos, more isn't necessary. Next you need to resize your photos exactly 512 by 512 pixels because that's the resolution of the Stable Diffusion training model. Then you need to give them a unique name and that's very important because it will be the keyword for your prompts later in Stable Diffusion. In my case I chose Vero Lab because I'm going to train a model of Vero who is the band leader of our music project. Maybe you can also visit our music channel on YouTube where you can find lots of videos made with Stable Diffusion. I will leave a link down below. So I renamed all images to VeroLab and a sequence number starting from 1 up to 15. Once you finish that, just upload the 15 images to your Google Drive. Then we can open Dream Booth to train our model. And once the training is finished, you just need to download your model from your Google Drive, import it into your Stable Diffusion app, and then you can start creating images or videos with your very personal model. Okay, enough for theory, now to the practical part. I've already prepared 15 images of Vero. It's good if the images already have a rather square format, because we will need to resize them to 512 by 512 in the next step. You can do that manually, but there's a great free website called burmy.net where you can resize a whole bunch of images in one step. I will leave a link down below. Just upload your images to Burmy, then set the size to 512 by 512 and download them as a zip file. Next let's rename the images to VeroLab1215 and then let's open our Google Drive, that's drive.google.com if you haven't got the Google Drive, just create a free Gmail address, go to Google and log in into your browser and then your Google Drive will be ready. Let's create a new folder called VeroLab, then double click to open it and drag the 15 resized photos to your drive. Okay, now everything is set up for the training. We are going to use a Google Colab file called the last ben fast dream booth i will leave a link down below so the training will not be done locally on your machine but on a google server it might look a bit intimidating at first but it's in fact fairly easy first click on copy to drive to make a local copy of the notebook and then let's connect your google drive to this notebook just click on the icon from google Colab import drive you will be asked for permission to connect your Google Drive. Just allow it and we are done with the first step. When you click on the folder icon left hand side, you can see that the Google Drive is connected and you can see the images we just uploaded before. Next click on the little icon left to dependencies and wait a little while until they are installed. Next we need to choose our model version, we just stay with 1.5. And then we need to select the base model and train our VeroLab images into this model. We could just use the standard Stable Diffusion 1.5 basic model, but I want to use a different model, which I find more realistic. And in order to that, let's head over to civitai.com which is a great free website for lots and lots of different stable diffusion models. Just take a closer look on this site and choose a model that you like. I'm going with an epic realistic model 
which is great for creating photorealistic images. Just note that it's a safe tensor file and not a simple checkpoint. We will need this information later. Now right click on the download button and copy the link address. Then let's go back to our dream booth notebook and paste the link into the line model link. And because it's a safe tensor file also hit the save tensor checkbox and run the model download script. This might take a few minutes. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, next let's create a session. I just call it ViroLab and click on the icon to run the script. Next we need to tell the system on which images it should be trained. So click on those three dots on your image folder and hit copy path. Then paste the path into the image folder line and then run the script. We can skip the next two cells because we won't need them. So let's head right over to our training cell. The training steps are set to 1500, which is perfectly fine for us because you need about 100 training steps for each image. Just if you have more or less images to train, you need to change this value. You can leave the rest of the settings as they are, because I found that it produces rather good results. So just click on the icon to start the training. Now this might take up to 20 minutes, so I'll be back when it's finished. Alright, we are done with the training. So let's disconnect from the notebook and delete the runtime, because we won't need it anymore. Then let's go back to our Google Drive and find our model that just has been created. On the top level of your drive you can find a folder Fast Dream Booth. Inside that folder is a Sessions folder and inside that there's another folder where you can find your model. Just look for the file with the CKPT ending and download this file to your local machine. Now the last thing we need to do is importing the model into our Stable Diffusion app. I'm using Automatic 11.11, which I think is one of the best apps available. I will leave a link down below how to install it. Basically you can use any Stable Diffusion app you like. For Automatic 11.11 you need to move the model file into the Stable Diffusion web UI folder, Models, Stable Diffusion. And basically that's all that's needed. Now let's open Automatic 11.11 and select our custom model. You might need to hit the refresh button if the model isn't visible quite away. Okay, then once the model is loaded, let's enter a simple test prompt in order to see if our model works. You just need to take sure to use the keyword ViroLab, which is the trigger word for our custom model. Then hit the generate button and see what happens. Looks quite okay for the first try. And now you can play with more sophisticated prompts and get some real great results. Well, I think that's all for today. I will leave a very detailed description of the whole process down below and also some additional information about the tools being used in that video and some more general information about Stable Diffusion. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any further questions, don't hesitate asking. So bye for now and see you in the next one.